This tutorial is all you need to get started with animating in Procreate Dreams. It always takes some time to get used to working with a new app or program, but during this tutorial you will be learning by doing and get familiar with the features of Procreate Dreams along the way. We'll use the illustration that we have already created to create a simple animation. You can either follow along the previous video and create your own sunny illustration, or you can grab my files through the link in the description. I have created this tutorial so you can get familiar with the features of Procreate Dreams and feel confident getting started creating your own animations. But let's not delay any longer, I'm sure you want to dive right in. So open up Procreate Dreams, grab your pen, and let's start by tapping the plus here in the upper right corner. This will open the Create New Movie screen and you can slide up and down until you find a format that you'll like. For this tutorial, we will be working on a square canvas. Now, while you are in this screen, you can tap the three little dots and decide how many frames you want per second. 24 is the standard, and you can decide the duration of your animation. We'll make it a bit shorter. We'll tap here and set it to 10 seconds. And then over here, you can tap empty to open an empty Procreate Dreams file. This is Dream 1, our first ever Procreate Dreams project. Let's tap it here and now you can see some options. Let's go to properties and we are going to change the width and height. We are going to adjust it to the illustration that we have created. So let's tap here. Let's double tap and set it to 2500 by 2500 and then tap enter. And of course, you can add your name and photo. We don't need to adjust anything else, so let's just tap Done. And now we need to import all the layers that we have created for our illustration and that we want to be able to move individually. First, we'll tap the plus and add a content track. You can see that we have a new track over here. Then we'll tap the plus again and tap Import from Photos. And then first we'll import our background from our illustration. Let's tap it, then tap add. And now the entire track will be filled with our background illustration, our background layer. Then we'll tap the plus again, create another content track, which will be on top of our previous one. Then we'll tap the plus again, tap import from photos. Then we'll tap the sun rays and tap add again. Now we are going to repeat these steps. So again, we'll tap the plus, tap content track, tap the plus again, import from photos, tap our sun, tap add, and do this until you have all the tracks ready. So now we have all the layers from our illustration in separate tracks. And Procreate Dreams has some similar gestures as Procreate. So you can tap with two fingers to undo and with three fingers to redo. But in this case, with these tracks, you can also slide with three fingers to zoom in and out. You can also move up and down and you can pinch to make it fill your lower side of your screen. Now over here, you'll see these two little squares. Once you have that selected, you can make a selection of different tracks just by making a looping motion. You can select multiple tracks and let's say you want to make them a bit shorter. Then you can just tap and hold here and use that slider to make your track shorter or longer. Then just tap that again to get out of that option. And here you see your playhead. That's where you are in your animation. So if you have it here and then press play, it'll go from left to right playing your animation. But of course, nothing is happening yet over here. So let's just pause it and let's start creating our first animated layer. We'll start by animating the rays of our sun. And those are on this track over here. If you zoom in, you can see it. Those are those sun rays. And I want to make them smaller. I want to make them small and turn our sun into a moon and then let them expand again. So let's move our playhead to five seconds. Then we'll tap the playhead and then we'll tap move. We can make an action here. So we'll tap move and then we'll tap move and scale. Now we'll drag this lower handle and we'll drag it like this until we can't see the sun rays anymore. Now I want them to stay like in for a while and then expand again. Let's 
zoom in here. And as you can see here, you see that little icon, the move and scale. So this is the point where it's scaled to this size. I want to duplicate this and let's tap over here. Double tap and now you can see that we have another one of those icons. So right here we have a duplicate. Then we'll go to the end, all the way to here, and make another. Let's tap move again, move and scale. And now I want to make it big again. Let's expand it, but I want to be precise. So let's zoom in, tap this little icon. And then here you'll see scale X and scale Y. Let's tap it, set it to one, this one as well. So then it's, it's full size again. I'll just tap outside, pinch to zoom out. And now let's check what we have done. Let's tap play. It's getting smaller. It stays small for a while and then it'll expand again. Let's tap pause and let's move on to the next section. Now, by the way, when you're pinched out, when you see your entire timeline and you press play, you will see your entire animation. But if you are zoomed in, like this, then you will only see this part. So if I press play right now, it'll just show this. Not much is happening, but it'll move back here and you'll just see that part of the animation. Let me tap pause again. Now, while those sun rays are getting smaller, I also want our sun to turn into a moon by changing the color. So let's zoom in a little bit to our track with our sun. And around five seconds, I want it to turn blue. So let's tap our playhead. Then we'll tap filter. And then we'll tap this little icon. That's the use saturation brightness option. Let's slide to the left here. Set it to blue. And let's also turn down the saturation a bit. I think this looks nice. Of course, I do want it to turn into that yellow color at the end again. So let's make one here as well. Let's go all the way to the back, tap it, turn on a filter, go to HSB, and then set this to 180 and the middle one to 50 so that it's all back to normal. Now let's play again and see how it's getting smaller. It's turning blue. It's staying blue for a while and then it'll get back to its previous form. So in just a few minutes, we have already created a simple animation here. So I think you're already noticing that animation in Procreate Dreams is quite different from animating in Procreate, where you can only create frame by frame animations. And this is a keyframe animation. So we made a keyframe like the blue moon, and then it gently fades into that keyframe moment and then fades into the next one. So there's no need to make frame by frame animations. Now, of course, Procreate Dreams does have frame by frame animation. If you want to make a frame by frame animation, let me just demonstrate. Let's make a new content track. Let's go to the beginning here. And then when you tap this little icon over here, you go into drawing mode. And then when you slide down here, you see this little flip book. And that's like an old fashioned flip book. You can draw. And then you can go to your next page and draw again and draw again for each frame. If you want to see your onion skins or in other words, see what you did on the previous layer, then you can tap here and then turn on show or hide onion skin. You can also edit them. You can change the color of your onion skin. You can turn down the amount of frames you'll see, turn down the opacity making it easier to create those frame by frame animations. But this is just a little detour. I just wanted to show you how you can use this, but we won't be using this for this super easy animation we're creating right here. So let's turn this off. Let me just undo my strokes and then tap here, turn off the flip book so we can see our timeline again and then tap and hold on this track to delete it. Now, while we have our sun turning into a moon, I also want to change the opacity of our stars. That's this track over here. Now in the beginning, I want the stars to be invisible. So let's tap here at the beginning, then use filter. 
and then choose opacity. Let's tap it, turn it down to 0%, then go to five seconds over here, tap it again, use filter, then use opacity, turn it up to 100%, and then over here at the end, we are going to turn it down again. So tap it, tap filter, tap opacity, and turn it down. And then again, you can check your animation and see how this is looking. You can see the stars appearing and then they will fade away again. Now, while all this is happening, I also want the plants and the clouds to move a little bit. Let's start with these plants over here. Those are the ones on the left. Now to make this move, we are going to use the recording option, which is a super handy, easy, intuitive feature in Procreate Dreams. Let's turn off the drawing option here. Then we'll tap this recording icon. Just tap it, then tap over here and decide what you want to do. I want to go to move and then use distort. Now while recording is turned on, we can go in here and we can simply move it around and the timeline will go and we can just move it until we are at the end. Gently move it like this. Now we have recorded that motion. Now let's just turn off the recording and tap play to see what's happening. You can see our leaves moving gently and well, this was super easy. We just recorded this. Now let's tap pause again and do this for the other layers as well. Let's start with these clouds now. On this layer, we'll just go to the start. Then we'll hit record again. Tap over here. And you can see you can also use filters for this. You can also record changing colors or changing opacity. You can record anything. But we'll go to move. And this time, let's use warp. And recording is on, so we can just go ahead and move it around. And every time you let go, our playhead will stop. So you don't have to be fast or anything. Just gently move it around and try to be at the starting point once you have reached the end. So let's go up a little bit like this. And then let's stop our recording and check it out. You can see how it's gently moving, very slowly, very gentle. So let's move on to the next one. We'll go for these leaves. Let's go to the start, hit record. And for this one, I want to use the stored again. So let's just use these. Go very slow. Use this handle, just the top two. Move it outward, inward, something like this. And let's just continue and work on this one. Go to the start, let's tap it, go to move. And in this case, again, let's use the stort. And then just move it around. You can see the other things moving. Just very gently. Now let's stop this. Let's check it out again. Well, let's hit pause. This is looking great. And you can actually stack these recordings. So let's say you also want your flower to become really huge. You can hit recording again, tap over here, use move, go to move and scale. And by the way, besides making it bigger or smaller, you can also tap until you see this little corner and rotate it. So let's say you want to rotate it during this recording. Now when you stop this and tap play, you can see that we have multiple motions. Now I think this might be a bit too much, so we can just hit pause and double tap to undo this. And let's move on to the front clouds. Let's go to the start. Let's record, tap over here, then tap move. Let's go to warp. And then we are going to use these handles 
to gently move them around and you can make very small motions here and then later make extra movements, make an extra recording, for instance, until you have the movement that you like. Now let's check it out. Let's tap play. I think this is all moving very nicely. Let's hit pause. For a final touch, I want to add some clouds that roll into our, our illustration. And to do that, we are going to make a track on top of the others. So let's go to the top, tap the plus, tap content track. And now we are going to draw. So we'll hit this icon over here. Then for the brush, let's go to the charcoal brushes and use the vine charcoal. And for the color, I want to use this one over here. Let me show you the value. The hexadecimal is FFD6C8. So you can just enter that here if you want to use the exact same color. And now let's draw some clouds. Now just make sure that you place your playhead all the way to the left and on the right track. So we need to be on the empty track. And then let's just draw some clouds. Don't mind the blue around it. I'm actually not sure why that's showing up, but you won't see it later on. So let's make a bigger one over here. Just make rounded motions. And one over here. And then let's make another track. Let's tap the plus. Let's give it a content track. And then let's make more clouds. You can see that the blue has disappeared. Let's make some more clouds here. Then let's add another one here. And a small one here. Just keep it simple. Something like this is fine. Then let's turn off the drawing option. And now we are going to move these clouds into our illustration. Let's start with the first one. Let's go to five seconds. That's where I want it to be. Well, in sight. Let's tap the playhead, then go for move. Use move and scale. And move it into our animation. Then I want it to stay there for a while, so let's zoom in. Let's find that little icon here. And then let's duplicate it by tapping here and tapping again. So now we have it twice. And then we'll go to the end. And if everything is really small here, what you can just do is slide with three fingers to make it big again. Then over here, we'll use move again. Tap move and scale and slide to the left so that it's outside of our frame. Then we'll do the same for this one. Let's first go to five seconds. Tap the playhead, use move, go to move and scale. Place it over here so that we have some clouds. Then let's zoom in. Let's find that little icon here. Tap it, then go here, tap again to duplicate it, then go all the way to the back, then tap over here so that we see our little playhead, then tap that, use move, then move and scale, and place it outside of our frame. Then let's zoom out here, or just pinch. And then let's play our animation. Let's see if it works. There are our clouds. They are waiting for a bit and then they will move out. Wonderful. Now the possibilities with these keyframes and with recording are endless. You can see how with just a few steps we have created a nice animation. That would have been super complicated to make in Procreate. Now, I would advise you to go ahead and explore Procreate Dreams, experiment a lot, animate your previous, you can draw the tutorial results, and let me know about any of your findings.
Now, of course, once you have created your animation, you want to share it with the world. If you want to do that, then you can just tap the name of your animation here, which is dream one in our case, and then you can tap share. And then here you can share it as a video. And depending on who you want to share it with or where, you can decide if you want good, better or best quality. And then once you tap it, it will export for you. You can just save your video, airdrop it, and then let's just spread some sunshine. If you'd rather just enjoy your animation right in Procreate Dreams, then you can just hit play and then tap four fingers on the screen to watch your animation full screen. I hope you have enjoyed following along this tutorial. Let me know if you did and if you want more Procreate Dreams tutorials, of course. And then I will see you next time for the next video. Thank you for watching.